Salomon Borrega. Still a teenager, already the fourth fastest in history. I wake up at 5 or 5.30. First I pray, then I put on my sports clothes and go to training. When I return, the road can be difficult and it will be maybe 10 or 11. Then I eat breakfast and take a rest. Then in the afternoon, I go to train again. Jakob Inga Britson has got the bit between his teeth here. Idris, the defending champion, trying to find a way through. So too Borrega. And the fourth fastest man in history is closing. Looks our Idris, the defending champion. What a race. What a finishing prospect. Muftar Idris, from nowhere, with no form at all, is going to successfully defend his title. It's a one-two in glorious fashion for Ethiopia. Look at these images. There are many, many thousands of East Africans in this stadium. <laughs> It's my work, it's my life. Because I support my family, I think of running like work. It's changed my life. Sometimes others are scared, but I don't get scared. If I run good, I thank God, then I accept and do work. And if I don't win, I see my weaknesses and I don't get angry. I say, because I work hard, I win, but still, it's not enough. I think that I can do more than this. The region I come from, the Garage Nation, they don't know anything about sports. But the Grage people, if they start to work at anything, in any field, they become successful. They focus on work. At this time, there are many capable athletes, and this year there are going to be a lot of us at the Olympics from that area. So now maybe even more boys and girls will try. When I first came to Addis, I was living with my uncle, then I started renting a house on my own. Then I bought my own house. My sister, two of my brothers, and one of my cousins live here. In total, there are eight of us. I have three sisters, and I'm one of five boys. I will never forget the youth championships. This was the first time I got a gold medal. I represented my country and got the gold, which was the main thing. To get another chance for other competitions, I will never forget it because all things come from that.
In our area, there was no one running. My parents are not supporters of sport. Their aim was only to push me to learn. After some time, my interest shifted from studying to sport. After I joined the club, still my family was not happy. But after I received medals, they were happy and started to encourage me.